May I have a motion to approve the appointment of Mark Vianella as the new Executive Director of Student Services? So moved. Second. There is a motion by Ms. Zanetti, a second by Mr. James. Ms. Porter, you pulled this item. Uh, yes, I did. And I'm not going to talk long on this. Uh, the superintendent and I have uh, had uh, communication on this issue, and I just... Um, would just like to bring forward to the public that this is um, another one of Mr. Yancey's close relatives. Um, I'm not Mr. related to Mark Vianella. I thought all. he was your son-in-law. No, no you Mark Vianella is not. All you have to do is walk down to our personnel department, HR, right down there, ask for the file on Mark Vianella, ask for the file on his wife, who is an employee, and they'll tell you. My daughter lives in Tallahassee, Florida. Her name is Shannon. So I don't think that all the Shannons in the world are going to be uh, uh, assigned to me uh, as their father. My daughter works in a, uh, at a Presbyterian church. She is not an educator any longer. She was at one time an educator in this county. She grew up in this county. But she did not and has not ever been, Harry Mark has not ever been married to one of my children. And, so, and so I'm going to stop you because this is totally inappropriate. Is that all you had for this? That's it. Uh, we'll move on to board comments and concerns. Ms. Porter. Okay. Um, I'd like to say, um, Mr. Yancey, um, sorry if I offended you on Mr. Vianello. Uh, I, I did not get a direct response from you uh, on my, my question if he was your son-in-law. And so... Uh, no, ma'am. Your, your email was so rude, I didn't feel like I could give you a direct response. I thought your email was way out of line. It was disrespectful to my family, Mark Vianello everybody else involved so you're right I didn't give you a direct response but because you are such a great researcher that you claim to be I assumed you would at least have the option of picking up the phone and going down there or going down there and pulling the file and looking for yourself to see what my daughter uh, did when she worked here well uh, I, you, you, you are the superintendent and so I went to the the top and asked the superintendent so I did not feel like I needed to go to uh, the payroll department. Uh, I uh, certainly you... have. I certainly have no problems with Mr. Vianello. Uh, he's he has been an excellent principal to the you know to the best of my knowledge. I do have a problem. I expressed it you know about um, close relations and family members and your uh, brother just being. Well, you know, you're, you're bringing gossip so, to a public meeting. You should have verified your gossip before you made an accusation. The other, my brother I, I just being to, what? I tried to verify the gossip through the superintendent. You didn't need, you could have verified it through, you know, anybody. Uh, got, uh, my brother being what? Just, he, he's just appointed to the football coach in Bellevue, so. It's a supplemental position. He's an employee of the Marion County School System. Uh, Jim Worley makes those decisions as the principal of the school. Um, you know. Mr. James got a son that's going to be in education. Um, I'm sure that if Mr. James' son comes back to Marion County, he'll end up coaching somewhere too, because he's a former athlete. Uh, you know, and I don't. You know, if we're going to discuss this email again and go into, you know, you ask what are his qualifications and certifications here. I'm going to skip the first part because I think it's so rude. I'm not going to write, write about it. Uh, but we're going to be voting on this appointment just like your daughter. So we already went over my daughter, but here you are asking me again about my other daughter. Uh, what are your what are his qualifications and certifications? You know since you've been a board member here for a while that every time we bring somebody forward We have a resume in there. You can find that anytime you want once again go down to personnel and find the information And I know that in the south it is not Becoming of a gentleman to say anything to women, but I got to tell you even the last statement Or is it the son-in-law who used to work for cone beer distributor? What has that got to do with anything? Who my son-in-law, if my son-in-law worked for Cone Distributor. Cone Distributor is a reputable business just like Bernie Little. And every one of them, they give money, they contribute to this community, they volunteer, they do everything they can in the world to be helpful. And here you are acting like it's something bad if they work for Cone Distributing. I, I don't get it. I, I, I didn't mean that. It's, it's just the way, it's the way that you interpreted it and so wow. I don't I don't have any problems at all with cone distributor I, but you know I think you do have a a, a son-in-law in the system who uh, works for the school district that 
he did work for Cone Distributing. And, I, you know, I'm going to speak to that as a parent because he was the teacher to my son for almost three years and probably one of the most impactful, and I know that's not a word, but impactful people in my son's life ever uh, that there was. I mean, he's an excellent teacher, and uh, regardless of who he's related to, as long as he's doing his job and doing a damn good job at that, why are you even attacking it? Why is it even an issue? Well, I brought it up before. This shouldn't board, even be an issue, Jackie. You need to understand nepotism. what your position as a board member is. I would just like to state clearly, and Mrs. Morris can jump in or back me up, that this board, unless we find that an appointment has conducted themselves in a way that would lead to their termination, we as a board have no legal authority or uh, legislative authority to oppose that vote. So when you do that, Mrs. Porter, you are breaking the law. Uh, we have a board policy in place on nepotism, and I was strictly going by that board policy at, at the time. Yeah. Making accusations based on gossip. Is that all your comments for tonight? That's it.